In this video, we're going to find the length of the sides of a rectangle when the size has been increased to give us a newer area. We've got the length of a rectangle to be 4 feet greater than the width, and each dimension is increased by 3. The new area is 33 square feet larger. So what we have is we have a small rectangle and a larger rectangle. The small rectangle, we're told that the length is 4 feet greater than the width. So we don't know the width. Let's call that x. But the length is 4 feet greater, and to get 4 greater, we have to add 4 to the other side, which is x. If we want to get the area of this rectangle, multiplying length times width, we get x times x plus 4. Then we have another rectangle. We're told in this other rectangle, each dimension is increased by 3. So what used to be just x is going to be increased by 3 to become x plus 3. And what used to be x plus 4 is going to be increased by 3 also, x plus 4 plus 3. Or if we combine the 4 and 3, that would be x plus 7. And the area of that, then, length times width is x plus 3 times x plus 7, length times width. And we are told how these areas go together. We're told that the new area is 33 square feet larger. In other words, if we took the smaller area, the x times x plus 4, and increased it by 33, or add 33 extra feet, we'll end up with the other area, the larger area, which is x plus 3 times x plus 7. We now have an equation we can go about solving. Start by distributing on the left, giving us x squared plus 4x plus 33 equals, on the right side, we have to FOIL x squared plus 7x and 3x is 10x plus 21. And then we could start solving. You might notice that the x squareds are on both sides. If we subtract x squared from both, those subtract out, and we're just left with 4x plus 33. Let's go ahead and write that out. 4x plus 33 equals 10x plus 21. Moving the variables all to one side, then, we'll subtract 4x, and 33 equals 6x plus 21. Subtract 21, and we end up with 12 equals 6x. And finally, divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 2. That width, x, whoops, not 6, is equal to 2. The other dimension on the rectangle is x plus 4, or 2 plus 4, which is 6. So we really have a 2 by 6 rectangle. When each side is increased by 3, we end up with a 5 by 9 rectangle, which has an area that's 33 square feet larger than the original. We found that size by representing each side of the original rectangle, algebraically, x and x plus 4, showing 4 or larger. And then we increased each of those two sides by 3 to get our larger rectangle. Adding 33 to the smaller area, then, we're told equals the larger area, and we solve that resulting equation.